Well, I had a request from one of my YouTube viewers who owns a JBC GRD MG330, I believe it is. I forgot the model number already, anyways. <laughs> anyways, um, wanted to know how I do my YouTube videos. Uh, I've done a video on this before, uh, last year, on how I make my YouTube videos, but of course I have a newer program now. So I'm going to show you what I do uh, and how I convert over the videos that come out of the MG E330, I think it is. I don't know. I can't, can't remember all these model numbers. Anyways, uh, you're probably familiar with that little, uh, I believe this is Dan that uh, requested this. I can't recall the YouTube name now, but uh, I know his name is Dan. So, Dan, I'm going to, uh, and anyone else, I want to explain to you how I make my YouTube videos. The quality, uh, the reason the quality is better is because YouTube allows up to two gigabytes of uh, video to go up. Whereas before, they lim uh, limited you to 100 megabytes, I believe it was. So, I had to do all my videos in MP4 at that time. And MP4 is a lousy format. It uh, doesn't come out good. Now I got a new program called Pinnacle uh, Studio Version 12. Well, it's new to me. It's about a year old. Uh, I got it last year, and it takes the mod files that are directly uh, that come directly out of the um, the 330 uh, JVC camera, and I can put it right into the program. The problem is it takes a lot more steps to do this than it does to use the uh, mini DV camcorders. So let me just show you now what cameras I have. Okay, this is the um, the JBC 330. Okay, this is uh, the hard drive camcorder that I showed you earlier in um, my videos pertaining to this camera. And I'm very happy with it, but I'll tell you what, the quality is not as sharp and clear as the DV, the mini DV tape cameras. You cannot beat that. I don't care what anybody says. This is the JVC GRD270. It's a mini DV camcorder. And um, although somewhat bigger, a little more awkward to carry, but not all that bad. Uh, you can't beat it. Over 500 lines of resolution. Now the, this camera is good for close-ups and stuff like that, but I can see the quality. Uh, and if you look closely at my videos, most of my videos are shot with my older Panasonic PV uh, DV103, which was about six years old. This cat here, I don't know, he's a pain in the uh, backside sometimes. Um, but anyways, um, that's what I primarily shoot with, but um, what I'm shooting with right now, as a matter of fact, is the uh, Panasonic uh, PV DV103. I have to start thinking about all these model numbers here. So anyways, let me just show you what and how we do this. First of all, the as you, the people that have these cameras know that what you have, you have a USB. Um, that would plug into the, I believe it's the front here, I haven't used this in a little while, uh, right in here. You plug this in and you use a USB 2 port on your computer to get the videos. The video files are, you got to dig them out. You put them into the computer and then you got to dig them out and then I drag them over to uh, my Pinnacle Studio. It's a real pain in the backside. When I use the mini DV camcorder, you got the FireWire connector, you can see it right in there on the left hand side. And you can I can go directly into my Pinnacle program, it captures it, and I don't have to drag all the files all over the place. So it's a, it makes my uh, editing much, much quicker. As using a mini DV camcorder that has FireWire, you can go directly in and you can plainly see what the video is. You don't have to play it back to see what it is. Uh, I'll show you that in the uh, when I'm actually doing the uh, the demo for you and let you see for yourself 
how much easier it is because uh, this pro this camera here comes with software. I wasn't able to do anything with it. It didn't work right for me. So I have to take the files directly out of here, put them into a folder that I have in my computer. Then after I put it into a folder that I have a computer, I bring up my Pinnacle Studio version 12 program. Then I find the mod file that I want. And as I said, uh, in my notation on my comment section of one of the videos you would ask about uh, this uh, procedure, I had said that uh, the Pinnacle version, Studio 12 version 12, will take a mod file direct. So uh, that's why I use that and it works a lot better. Windows Movie Maker does not work right for me. I can't do editing or anything on it. So it's very hard to do a video on a tutorial video such as this or anything else similar to this and try to keep it under 10 minutes. It's very hard, so I end up having to chop a lot of it out and you miss a lot of information. Now, the way I do things is probably not maybe the best way, but it's the only way I know and what I've learned throughout the short time that I have been making videos. So, um, if I'm sure there are better ways out there. And uh, also, there are better quality videos are uh, out there that, to my knowledge, I have no idea how they do it um, because I don't, you know, some use the flip video uh, and they look really good. I don't understand it. Maybe they're putting it directly up there, uh, unedited um, and converted or anything else. But the mini DV tapes are far superior to anything out there uh, because the quality's, the quality's a lot better. Uh, people are getting away from the um, tape formatted type of camcorders and they're going into uh, like mp4s. Well mp4s ain't going to be as good as mini DVs. I don't care what anybody says. It's just not. But uh, I'm sure there are professional cameras out there that are not tape based anymore uh, that uh, will be far superior to uh, mini DV. But uh, I'm talking about the consumer grade cameras, which is what I use and what most people on YouTube use. So uh, that little uh, MG GZ330 camcorder is a nice little camera to go around to fairs and stuff without being too uh, big and bulky. The only problem is uh, the viewfinder uh, has to be open in order to use it like a lot of these cameras are. And uh, that can be a pain in the neck. And of course, um, after a while, the cable, the, the ribbon cable, breaks and the viewfinder no longer works. And that's, uh, I've had, I have two uh, cameras. My um, Panasonic PV DV103, which I'm using now, the side viewer is completely dead. The wire is broken right off, so I have to use the eyepiece to look through it. Camera works fine otherwise. And I have an old Samsung, the same thing. The LCD is, uh, don't, no longer works on the side panel, but the viewfinder looking into the viewfinder works fine. But the uh, Samsung is my worst camera. It doesn't stay in focus. It doesn't pick up good and low light. So I very rarely use it. I got it real cheap, so I don't worry about it. Um, so anyways, um, that's about enough of my flapping. Let's get going, and I'll show you how I do my um, YouTube videos with the latest program that I have now, Pinnacle Studio version 12.